In our previous video, we showed you how to calculate the ultimate moment resistance of a reinforced concrete slab in accordance with Eurocodes. We received a request to do a video to show you how to calculate the shear capacity of the same reinforced concrete slab. So what we are going to do today is calculate the shear capacity of this reinforced concrete slab without including any design shear reinforcement. First, what we are going to do is calculate K factor. This is to take the absolute depth of the concrete slab into account. K is equal to one plus. This should be less than or equal to two. D is the effective depth in millimeter. From our previous example, the depth of the section is 250 and our concrete cover is 50 millimeters. Our longitudinal reinforcement bar diameter is 20 millimeter. So we can write effective depth D is equal to 250 which is the depth of our concrete slab minus concrete cover which is 50 millimeters and half of the longitudinal bar diameter this comes to 190 millimeter then we can write k is equal to 1 plus 200 to 190 this comes to 2.026 However, this K value cannot be bigger than 2. Hence, we can write K is equal to 2. Then, to take the concrete strength into account, we need to calculate V min, where depth factor K is also used. V min is equal to point. You should bear in mind the UK National Annex recommends this formula only for concrete classes below C5060. This FCK is the characteristic compressive strength of concrete and this should be in megapascal to get the correct value for V min. This is equal to K is 2, FCK is 40. This comes to 0.626. Then we can calculate the minimum shear resistance, which is basically the minimum value of shear resistance without design shear reinforcement, which is equal to VR DC is V min plus K1 sigma P times B times D. The value we get from this equation is the minimum shear resistance of our reinforced concrete slab. We don't have any axial force applied, hence this sigma CP becomes zero and all of this term becomes zero. So we can write in absence of axial force on our concrete slab VRDC is equal to V min times B times D. Previously we calculated V min as 0.626. Breadth of our section is 1000 millimeters and our D which is effective depth is equal to 190 millimeters. VRDC, the minimum value comes to 118.94 kilonewton. This is basically the minimum value, then we can calculate VRDC. VRDC is equal to CRDC times K times 100. Rho L F C K plus K 
one sigma C P B times D. In the absence of axial force, again in this equation, this whole term becomes zero. So we can write VRDC is equal to CRDC times K times FCK times B times D. Let's calculate rho L which can be written as area of the longitudinal reinforcement over B times D and this value has to be less than or equal to 0 0.02. This is equal to number of bars is 5 times pi times bar diameter is 20 over 2 squared thousand times 190 it comes to 1571 over thousand times 190 this is equal to point zero zero eight and that is less than point zero two hence we can write our rho l is equal to point zero zero eight UK National Annex recommended value for CRDC is 0.18 over gamma C, which is equal to 0.18 over 1.5, and that comes to 0.12. Then we can calculate our VRDC, which is equal to CRDC. 0.12 times we have already calculated our k value which is 2 what we are doing is we are using this equation to calculate our vrdc so we've already written crd t and k is times 100 times rho l which is 0 0.008 times our fck which is 40 megapascals times B is 1000 and our D is 190 and this comes to 146.56 kilonewton. Previously we calculated our minimum value of VRDC which is 118.94 kilonewton. And that is the minimum value of VRDC. Hence, our ultimate shear resistance of reinforced concrete slab is 146.56 kN without any design shear reinforcement. ULS shear. Hope you understood how to calculate ultimate shear resistance of a reinforced concrete slab without design shear reinforcement. Thank you for watching the video. If you like the video, please like the video. If you have any questions, please post your questions in the comment section. And if you would like to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to our channel.